Nein! Oh! What is up everybody, I am Luke from the Master Sword Valley and welcome back to some more Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Now of course, last time, since it's been a little while, but I know this game like the back of my hand and such yeah, not. Yeah, I get shiny objects. We, I guess we just finished up at rock bottom. So, so to be, and then, of course we saw our database of the robots, because I don't remember names at all, in fact. I already forgot what they were, crap. <laughs> Even after going through all that, but you know what, it has been like a week or so, and I wasn't able to make videos for a while, like I've said before. Uh, how many shiny objects do I have? 8,000? I think we can buy another one. So, uh, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's wait, what? Craftsmanship, that is. Come again. Wait, is this- hold on, hold on, is this the first one I've ever bought from Mr. Crap? Oh no, okay, it's the, sec it's the second one, okay. You know what, I'm- I could buy the other one, like the next one for, what was that, 4,000 shiny objects? Yeah, for, for 4,000. Oh, crap, hold on. Crap, I went, I went off into my recording area and messed up my face cam. I'll save my shiny objects in case I need them. But I guess, you know, now that I think about it, I think we're meant to go into like the Shady Shoals area before we go to Rock Bottom, because like, it said that you needed like a certain number of golden spatulas in order to go to Rock Bottom, but there's no requirement for them here at the Shady Shoals Rest Home. Uh, at least, so I think you're meant to go here first, but I guess I went over to uh, Rock Bottom. Hit me with a water ball. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Yeah, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Of course you are. Is that the TV repairman? <laughs> no, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, Look at that floppy nose. Uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Let me try. Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Good uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, Camera much? You really want to help out? No oh boy, would I? <laughs> okay then. Uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh... We've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Retired, huh? Up to this task. Absolutely, Barnacle Boy. Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? <laughs> Mermaid Man, you old coot. No, it's not. Hold on one sec. Sorry. I, did, I just didn't want a green outline on my face cam on my recording software. So, they said that they were retired now. I guess that means they're done. Re they retired from the world of like entertainment and such but apparently not from being superheroes apparently Let's see s f to talk and to the merm yes let's do it look at this music listen to that music don't look at it you can't look at music technically you can okay that i remember that looked a lot creepier in the original how he would just stretch up further to go down into there that looks so much creepier all right the mermel uh let's see coming back I guess we can't leave. Oh, never mind. We could leave there. I saw that message. Got a teleport box. As always, you can get out of here. I already forgot your name. Awesome. Ow! Okay, whatever. Evil! Mermaid Man. <laughs> boy. He's still flipping out. Yeah. Sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it. Nothing on him is that good anymore. Ah. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. Mm. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Yeah, just shut tell up. tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick said on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up. Young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? <laughs> yes. A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them. Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. More like just plot convenience. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. 
Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. What? What? Oh, that's his to bubble wand. Doctor's office. Away. All right, you old coot. I'm gonna just do that to both of you there. <laughs> they want to fight. I, I, I love Mermaid Man. It's like. He's like every cliche superhero, or at least someone trying to be a superhero. Not. Sponge, it's super sponge, soaking up crime. Great. Uh, don't step on the red squares on this on the disco floor. Oh, they do call it a disco floor. I was so many times I would call it. I would call it disco floor because I never actually remembered the actual name of the thing. And like, well, this game actually cleared it up that it is a disco floor. It's not something else here. I believe if we bubble ball on, I'm. Don't tell me I gotta move back. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Nope. Nope. I gotta keep going back because I believe if we, if we take if we take this out, this duplicator tron. Yes. A bubble ball did that. Uh. Fully. Yeah. We get a purple shiny object. Kind of worth it, I guess. Uh. But uh. Don't know. Uh. You two can. Hey! Not me dying. You two can die. Is that anything like the Terminator? Hmm? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't look. I mean, we kind of saw the explosion, but not really. These poles are power generators. Don't touch them or the energy beam. Ooh, sparkly! Nah. Oh, you didn't let me touch that. Come on, game. Oh, what's this? Uh, nice, nice doggies. Nice boom doggies! Okay. What? What was that? <gasps> yeah, check your breath for the for your date tonight. <laughs> uh, what is this guy? This robot is named Arf. Use the bubble bowl to defeat him. Or I think we can also use uh something else. Okay. nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Oh yeah, that guy. Shut up, SpongeBob. That that guy is kind of annoying, considering that. He takes so many hits and just keeps moving on you. He's kind of annoying. So, like, Bubble Bowl is not really the best for this guy. Oh, hey, Bomb Guy! Die. I, you don't even get a cutscene when, like, everyone else did. All the other robots I'm talking about. Oh, there was something on my mind that I was going to... What happens if I... Can I do anything with this? No, I can't. Okay. What? Oh, this... Oh, this... You can use the Bubble Bowl to turn paddle wheels. Yeah, yeah. Just go that. Oh, not that way. You gotta make sure you're going the right- Oh, also stand back a bit, because it's picky like that, I guess. And you can turn that. Why would they put underwear all the way up there? Are you meant to, like, bet to bowl that thing again and, like, make it go out further or something? Ooh, a switch here. Oh, and I can't hit that with my bubble wand, even though- it is. That invisible car! <laughs> uh, oh, oh, there's- It's act right invisible, you can't even hit it. I remember in the original that it- even if you didn't hit that switch, you can still feel around for it. Obviously, it's meant to be in the invisible car, like in the show. Switch there. That's convenient. <laughs> All right, what I remember saying is like, how there's I was always something about like when the main character is like at some place and they like they like like in the case of this, like Mermaid Man, and Barnacle Boy, like th they know the Mermelair themselves, so like they're good superheroes and they can't take care of it. And I always say like if it if it falls to the main character itself, I always say. It's because of the power of plot convenience. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've told this story many times, but yeah, it's always like, it's just the power of plot convenience. There is the reason why the main character has to do something when other people that are clearly more capable can't do that. All right, so we got our box here. Just making sure that, okay, yeah, we can come straight back here. Lovely. Let's go in this way. And hopefully my voice will not crack. <clears throat> the Mermelair. Secret Fortress of the Wrinkly Superheroes, Mermaid Man, and Barnacle Boy. A French narrator. Gotta love him. Like Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Hmm. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. 
It's right over there. Right over oh, there. Look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Hold that Magic. Easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda. And that... Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He don't... He does just doesn't care. Okay, now, this right here, it's obviously a Patrick Tear Tartar. Why is this... Why is this thing here? This was here in the original as well. I don't understand why this thing is here and how exactly you can get Patrick over here. Uh, you know what? That's not something for now. Oh, that's the wrong way. Go. Yay! Okay, I believe our is our collectible switches. That's what it is. And of course, wait, wait, wait. Four socks. Well then, all right. Uh, ugh. Uh, get that. We got a bridge. Somewhere here. I think we want to come over here. Uh, oh wait, let me, I think if we talk to him. You're my hero. Uh -huh. Hey, you're yellow. When did that happen? <laughs> that means we can't play this as SpongeBob. Is that? Uh, oh, and another Patrick to your turn. I guess this one makes sense because there's a bus stop right there and I think think we can swap to Patrick. Yay! Hello, Patrick. I kind of missed you. I got a job for somebody who can throw things. All you have oh, to do oh, I is missed pick it. up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, throw all the throw fruit? <laughs> no, throw the throw fruit. <laughs> throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean, they tend to explode. Okay, thanks for that briefing, Mermaid Man. You old fart and whatnot. This, I think, is kind of annoying. Like, I think I remember there being being some puzzles here that, that are kind of annoying here. I... You know what, now I think about it, I think this one is not is not really so bad. There's just like these three trials areas here. We gotta get this throw fruit here. I guess really it just takes a lot of patience rather than like get there in a certain well you do have to get there in a certain time limit or else this fruit will explode. Uh it, yeah, got you. Get rid of that just so it comes back faster. They're all activated, yay. I think this one here is the most annoying. Like oh crud. Pick that up. Take it over this way. And you cannot touch, like, a single one of these disco floors. Disco floor panels. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, when it turns yellow, that's... Means it's about to... Means it's about to change red, and that's when it's dangerous, I guess. Um... Mermaid Man! Mermaid Man! Give me my reward! Now I can get some sleep! That make... That seems like you wouldn't get sleep, because that, like, turned on a bunch of alarms or something, so... You probably wouldn't get sleep from that. Jeez, 43 spatulas. Wow, I'm a completionist, I guess. Okay, what is this for? Let's throw that. Wee hoo! Hey, I know you. <laughs> You're that guy. Uh hmm. I'm gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do <laughs> you think you can handle this? I could see Squidward's house from up here. <laughs> and he's not wearing any pants. Oh, wait, he never wears pants. <laughs> now, listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side, and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Of course you were. Just start turning those cylinders. Why did they even? Why did? Why'd you even invite them in here? Like, I what this does. why'd you invite them down here? They're they're annoying as hell. Okay, this this is like a standard puzzle. This is like a standard puzzle where you have like eight things, you hit one and the other's turn and whatnot. Usually the strategy for this one I, I, that I found out is just hit all of them once and then, and you're good. Just, just make a full circle, hitting each one of them once, and that should be good. Uh, give me that, do that, uh, do that, okay, give me this one, last one, uh, gotcha! Yeah, just hit all of them once, and that's it. They're meant. I think it's meant to be that. That's supposed to be a lot harder than it normally is, but not really. Ah, well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why my foot bath, of course. Ew. Here, 
Have a golden spatula. <laughs> you just need power for Shady Shoals, don't you? The Mermelair powers it. Yay, another spatula, and Patrick's just flopping all over. What were you doing there? Wait, what do you say? Now, how to get some bath salts. Great, that guy want to know that. Okay, is... Wait, is this how you're supposed to get to the... No, 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 no! No, suck it there! Okay, you're supposed to use that to get the sock. Uh, I'll come back for that when I actually decide that I want to do, like, a treasure hunt of socks and whatnot. But, that's not what's important right now. Someone was trying to shoot at me, I just noticed. But they're not... They're too slow for me. For the likes of me, I mean. You can die. Uh, is it that way? Yes, it is. Now, it always... Victory. Shut up, SpongeBob. It always, like, plays that sound whenever something's... Is that, like... See, I have a feeling that's uh, uh, meant to be just, like, the... What happens when you... When, like, something's moving, like, Metallic is moving and whatnot. But that just sounds like downtown Bikini Bottom to me. Hey, buddy, you can die. You can also die. Nope, come back here. And you know what? I'm gonna play by the rules and do a bubble bowl. And boom! And got you. Oh, nope. Gotcha. Come on! Get moving. Thank you. <laughs> ah, it was so exciting that I had to sneeze. I don't know. Uh, let's see. And it's over there! Gotcha! Ow! Hey, buddy! No! You can die. What is this slide here for? Okay, going for it. I gotta... Whoa, whoa! Ow! Ow, I still am not good at those. That's how we get that sock, okay. I guess technically we can go get another spatula from Patrick. You know what? If I finish this area just that quick, I guess then I can go get uh, another sock. Uh... And again, I'm sorry if it looks like if this doesn't really look that exciting. Like I'm not going through this blind and whatnot. It's just this is all memory from when I played this years ago back on my GameCube. This is not from like a any recent playthrough or anything that I did like when I first got the game on my computer on this computer and whatnot. This is all memory from the original. So if I look like I'm just blazing through this, I'm sorry. This is just all that I remember here. But we do get a golden spatula. Yay! Okay, got another box there. Gotcha. In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermelair. The first one is here. I already did that. Press the buttons. Got it. When hmm. you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Hmm. Return here. Got it. Hmm. Are you listening to me? Listening. Got it. Already, what did you say again? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Of course, I can talk to you. I could probably talk to you again. But I guess that's not it for this area here. Is just not it for the murmur layer. Hey, there's that area over there as well. So yeah, this place is kind of big, I guess. Uh, murmur layer security towel. That was that was the same. I guess it just blazed by that so Jerry, fast. I see you made your way down to the deepest recesses of the murmur layer. Wow. Yep. Oh, you took the elevator. How do I get to the top of this room? You gotta climb. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. You say it like a comic book announcer. Oh, wait. I think because you're in a comic book area. Nope. You can die. You can die. Nice. You all can die. You're not wanted here. Okay. I think this area is just super linear is just what it is. Like they Obviously, they just practically tell you where to go with these narrow halls and all that. Ah, pardon me, pardon me. Uh, nope, you can boom over there. You can also go kaboom. Die to the hands of my glove feet. Or bubble feet, not glove feet. Oh, that was close. Is that still supposed to be like molten hot light or something? That, that That's the reason why it like burns your souls and like you take damage from it? Die, please. Uh, ooh, duh, nope. Uh, duh, gotcha. Got you. Got all you. Okay. I feel like a new sponge. Thank you. Die. Die. Oh. Oh, we're having this same thing that we had at the Poseidon, where we just have to jump over something that's moving towards us. Yeah, I already mastered that sort of stuff. I've mastered the art of jumping. It's 
a skill that almost everybody should have. Who did? Oh, I can't believe it! Hey, you're actually a good shot. Well, now you can die for that. I can't believe I actually made that. That's that's actually really cool. So you call can go boom as well. Okay, awkward topic changer. Oh crap! No! Get up there! Okay, wow, I am blazing through that like so fast. Okay. Uh. Huh? Nope. 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 Huh? Die. Also die. Again. Give me my health. Uh. Oh, oh, oh! We can just combo in there. We don't need to have Rut chase after him all that. Uh, what is this, dude? Uh, it's a platform up. Is this just do another sock? Uh. Huh, uh. Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. Ah, crap. I'll be right back. Well, I got lost and had to turn around. Because I was going the wrong direction. Okay. I made it all the way back up here. And really quick, before I go through there, because it looks like it. If I'm right, it looks like it takes you to, like, another area. I'm just going to activate that just to be safe. Now I know I can. I need to avoid these things. Uh, no, 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 no! Great. Ah. Uh. Luckily, I activated the box. Apparently, I didn't when I first came into this area. Uh. Great! I died! Fantastic! I don't even want to deal with you, dude. Uh, uh, you all can kindly. What the, 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 uh, 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 die! Uh, kindly go away, sir. Alright, all that for a sock. Hooray! Worth it. Alright, we got that switch, we got this spatula. Hopefully we're done in this section, and I won't have any more embarrassing fails like that. Jesus. What is this? The rolling... Oh, crap. I think I remember this. This is... I think I remember this. This is quite possibly one of the most annoying areas in the game. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. No, he doesn't. Whatever. Hello. Boy, there's gold under that glass. Gold, I say. My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it. Ew. All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. Great. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. I'm surprised he did not go, me, me wallet's counting on you. I'm Mr. Krabs. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, we got that. Okay, we got all the switches there. This sucked in the original just so much. I think it really you know what it moves faster than you think do that oh just made it uh get that move that down uh, uh get in there get in there did I do it yay I got it in the scoop I think this process is this, this is just so it just clipped there it's just so slow even though, technically, like I said, it moves, like, a lot faster than you think. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Keep it going. And you have to time things, like, perfectly. Uh, like this. Please let that count. Please let that count. Oh, I got it, I got it! Oh, I did get it! So we got this... I don't know how this stays on this rail here. Seeing that there's no rails on it. Move that. No, 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 no! Oh no! See that? That's the thing. You Screw up once, you have to do that whole slow process again. Ugh. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Are 
Are you f kidding me? Dude, come on! Oh! Uh, I just barely clipped that rail when it was turning. Oh, that's stupid! Do this again! Ugh! Okay, that's creepy. No, no, no! Come on, come on, come on, get in there! Get in there! No, 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 come on, come on, come on! Oh! Come on! Oh, that's stupid, it doesn't even fall! Oh, why can't, oh, hey, sock! God damn it! Ugh. Stay up there! What?! Oh my god! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! What? 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 It's... It's floating! What? Okay, that counted, but what the hell was that? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Get in there, get in there! Come on! Oh my god, yes, 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 I believe. We run over here. Uh, hit that! Yes! Epic shots! It outweighs that thing and lifts the glass! Uh, I was so close! Oh, it hurts! Like when you're just so close and then just a sudden slip up? No. Just no. Okay. Finally, we got that! Okay. So, doing this. We have all the switches. I don't know where that last sock is. Probably something to do with that Patrick Teeter Totter at the beginning, but I'll probably come back when I do my sock treasure hunt later. And get that. Okay. Uh, talk. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. Move that. Wow, you couldn't even render that to go inside that. The cage is sticking out of the top. Whatever. Just hit that. And we done it. We unlocked a new path. Hooray! God, that's like forever. Uh, what is this? Master shadow button to lower the bridges to the villain containment system. Oh boy. Okay. Gonna have to lock all this way. Oh, nope, never mind. Well, the security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi splendor glory! Yeah. Well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The Atomic oh, Flounder? Oh. The Dirty Bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy, Prawn. Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes, but now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink! Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge! There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. 
But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Mm. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. <laughs> this? Mermaid Man. Sick burn on him. He just called him a this. Okay, Prawn here. I think I remember this guy. He's he's not that bad. He's definitely a step up from Robo Sandy and King Jellyfish, to, to say the least. And to be fair, he was he is our next boss fight. I think you just gotta he's gonna keep firing these bubbles at us. Is that what it is? Okay. And he's gonna pick a lane and you just gotta bubble ball him. Boom! And like that's it. Yeah, so much for he got out. It's more it's more like he was just even more captured in the snowy area. Cause look at that, it's snowing in there. And like he's like protect Oh god! No you don't! No. Nope, you're not getting me. You are not getting me. Come on. Dude! Stop firing! Stop firing your bubbles at me. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is! Get out of here! Got you with that. Hammers, go! Go. Get out of here. I don't know how I got access to these robots. Or maybe he's the one who's been setting off the robots in this area. Huh? Ugh! But still, that is a... That is a prit That is the worst thing a villain can do. Turn all your clothes pink. Even some badass superhero would would hate that so much. So you gotta bleach it out and then re dye it again and like that stuff can get expensive. Uh gotcha! No hits! No, no, not again. This is not fair! I got the frozen wedgie for this! You deserve it. You deserve it. <laughs> my name's SpongeBob. Yep. Here, I found this in my sock drawer, next to a bunch of pink socks. Great. It's another golden spatula. They like common announcer. Mermaid Man, I shall always live my life by your shining example. Let goodness and kindness. Are you still here? Get out of here! <laughs> okay, that that was funny. That that was pretty funny. 49 spatulas, so I believe that means that we can... Yeah, we have all of them. Top top of the entrance, top of the computer area, shut down the security system, the funnel machines, the spinning top, towers of power, top of the security tunnel, complete the rolling ballroom, defeat Prawn. Done and done. Oh, and he's no longer there. Pardon me, he's no longer there. I just ate before I did this and also, of course, had a soda with that. With that, I... You know... I Like I said, I'll figure out what that... Pete Patrick Tietar at the beginning is for wait. Um, uh, nah, uh, uh. I'll figure that out like later when I like come back to this area. Uh, Squidward. Uh, SpongeBob, how do I get out of here? Well, hmm. that depends. Do you want the booby trapped or the non booby trapped exit? Non booby trapped, please. Then go that way. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I like how I was like, yeah! That was... Or maybe it was that way. That was awful. I'm I'm sorry, guys. That was really bad. Like, Jesus. I should probably not do impressions with this voice of mine. Unless, of course, it sounds better on this microphone compared to the other one. Probably going to make several comparisons to this new microphone I have and my old one a lot. Now that I finally have it. Uh, let's see. Go to the rest of them. Oh, it's not even a cutscene. Oh, sh dude. Checkers, the king of Sports. There was, I remember in the original, there was a cutscene of like him actually on an elevator rising up out of here. Um, let's see, we're at 39 Uh, I'm sure a lot of that was cut out, but you know what? I'm, we're actually gonna go, yeah, let's go to the next area. This is, let's see, Sand Mountain. 30 spatulas. Taxi! Take me to Sand Mountain. Sand Mountain, where sea creatures go to enjoy an afternoon of falling down. Probably that sick burn, jeez. Three lodges. Squidward, am I glad you're here. Mm. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. Ugh. What? You've used it before? Oh yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Fine. 
What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robot mess. And now everything is ruined. Of course it is. Is it a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots. They've taken over the ski slopes. Uh-oh. How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've got to help me. I'm going to lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation. I found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... Forget the marbles! <laughs> I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Ooh. Now that's a deal. <laughs> more, like, more like they had to find a way to just cram eight spatulas into this area here. Considering, oh, whoops, whoops. Considering that there are three different areas to go here. I believe if we hop all the way up here. Oh no, never mind. Um, you all can die. Die, die. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you did. Hi, Gary. Hi, Gary. Hi. I believe uh, if we stand. Can we stand on Gary? I know, up here. Huh, I believe over here. I don't think we're meant to come up here. Like this. Hello, my <laughs> most favorite friend in the whole world. <laughs> I found another golden spatula for you. Did you oh, now? Boy, can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Mm. Hmm. I suppose you could bungee down. Why don't you try jumping off? Is that safe enough for you? Do I have the money for it? Oh, I did. Oh, with I only have 67 shiny objects left. Never mind, 76. This is probably the lowest I've ever had, especially after coming off of playing the original. Wow. Okay, let's see what the dish what the deal is here. We got people making a snowman here. Well, you know what? No! And I get a sock! Uh what's the What's the stuff to collect here again? Destroy snowmen. Or oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I guess Sandmen, since they're since it's like not snow here a lot, and this is Sand Mountain, not Snow Mountain, I guess. Hey, buddy, die, and you can die as well. Thank you. Uh, let's see, there's a bus stop here. Hello, hi, Sandy. I. Oh yeah, that's right. We're supposed to take Sandy and. Yeah, this is the cutscene with Gary. There is if you hop on plants. That's what you're good at, Sandy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Woo. Okay. So we got some Texas swingers. I I don't know if they ha have an official name. That, but I, yeah, I officially de deem them uh, Texas Flyer. Texas Swingers, I mean. Considering you swing off of them and they look like a Texas logo. Huh. Yay! Uh... Oh, it's just a floating string. Okay, sure. Let's see. Oh, crap. I can't go to these areas. Yeah, I don't have enough shiny... Well, crap. Where am I... Where can I grind for some? Because I only... Only a hunt... Crap. Well, I guess we're not going to do this. I guess... I guess this is the... This is the signal to just end this episode here, because apparently I can't do anything yet, because like I said, I, ha I don't have shiny objects. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed my frustration down in the Mermelair with me trying to get that ball into that cup and get that one golden spatula. And of course we got the other ones as well. I don't know where the last sock is, but you will, like I said, we'll find it when I do this big treasure hunt for all the go all the socks and whatnot. But for now, that's gonna go ahead and do it. If you guys did like this episode and you want to see some more of SpongeBob or just any other games in general, make sure you stab that like button and make sure to leave a comment down below about what you guys want to see next or use the hashtag MSVPlayThis on Twitter as well. I always take your guys' suggestions. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell. That way you know when I post a new video, whether it's your suggestion or just another game in general. But that's gonna go and do it. My name is Luke, and say it with me. Stay strong and feel the power. See ya! Thanks for watching, guys. 
If you liked what you saw in this video, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button so you stay tuned for future videos. If you want to check out my previous, previous video, click the box to the left. If you want to check out my last video, click the box to the right. Thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!